Hello everyone! Welcome to Yarl Hills Open Air Museum. The museum was founded in 1930 by director H.P. Yarl Hansen. Kaya Yarl Hill yung pangalan ng museum na ito kasi pinangalan to after him. So we are entering now. We're going to pay entrance fee. This season, half price sila. The museum was run by the Yarl Foundation until 1979. And after that, the museum was separated from the foundation as a self-owned institution. So the museum consists of the old village, the Jutlandic Forestry Museum, and the Museum for Fit production more than 50 different buildings can be seen inside so let's go okay let's wait because nakakita na naman ng tractor si Gert sobrang fanatic siya ng tractor Ganito ang itsura ng halaman or ng plants na oat. Alam niyo yung oatmeal na kinakain natin. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. Ganyan yung itsura ng halaman niya. So, papunta na tayo sa loob. And in the middle of the old village lies the village pond surrounded by farms, blacksmith, tavern, school, uh church and a meal this museum preserves the old danish livestock breeds like the museum has grape pied cattle sheep and goats from old danish country stock geese chickens and bronze turkey as well as norwegian fjord horses so, in this area, you can listen about H.P. Jarl Hansen's story, kung paano niya binilt yung farm. Isa siya sa pinakamayaman dito sa Denmark. And among the buildings, you will find Winkel Garden which is Denmark's oldest farm. All farm and houses with the old village are furnished with furniture, kitchen, and textile from the old village society. Do <laughs> This store was built in the early 1800s in Swensea near Horsens and then they just transferred it here sa museum. The grocery store is from the first decades of the 20th century and provided with a product range of the time. So yes, this house has been moved and transferred here. The building was built sometime between 1857 and 1871. At the museum, you meet the master artisan in this workshop. The museum has a long yeah. tradition of exhibiting 
old village craft. Like during the living history events, you are invited to see artisans in their authentic surroundings or kung paano nila ginagawa yung mga gamit nila. <laughs> Basiya, Gris? <laughs> Bilo up po Heston. Bilo go there po Heston. Okay, come on. So ngayon, papasok tayo sa isang old house dito sa museum. Ganito talaga yung itsura niya. Wala silang binago dito. Minintain lang nila yung looks. So, ganito yung itsura ng bahay nila or ng mga gamit nila. Many, many years ago. Nice. The Museum Church is built as a reconstruction of the Romanesque church type or roman church type which was built in this country in the 12th century touring church north of herning has been used as a model the motifs for the frescoes are taken from roasted church near runners and are like the originals painted in full color in the middle of the floor is an original east Jutland baptismal font from the 13th century which has also been painted in strong colors and on the altar table are a couple of candlesticks from this view and a Christ figure which is a copy of a crucifix in Obu church the church bell is a cast of Denmark's oldest bell which is found in a smaller roof or a smaller roof so isang windmills na yan sa kauna-unahang itinayo dito sa museum and Ginagamit talaga ng mga farmers yan dati kasi naoobliga sila na gamitin ang mill na yan. When they needed to have their corn ground into flour, a trip to the mill could easily take a whole day. One had to wait until the corn was ground and, and the mill became a meeting place where people could exchange news. According to them, there was usually a farm attached to the mill, yeah. and the miller was often a wealthy man. And over the course of the 20th century, corn and feed merchants replaced the old wind and water mills. And sa museum na to, there's a lot of activities for kids like they can apply for work like this one. So after nila dito mag-work, magkakaroon sila ng referral or or recommendation letter na good or hard working sila. Ay, ik daar zonder.